Man, the market is a crab shoot. Who buys out half of these cards? Let's dig on into Market Watch. I don't know what else to say, man. This is wild. Our uh, Card Fight Vanguard playmat just went live. I know a lot of you guys are Yu-Gi-Oh players, but this is a beautiful piece. I'll leave a link down below in the description if you want to pick yours up today. All right, so OTS just dropped, and these are very, very interesting prices here. I see Hulk down here. Oh, actually, look at this. Look at how nice the German copies are in comparison to the English. Hmm, that's a 108 plus shipping. Okay. That's uh, interesting. Barricade board blockers at fives. And then, of course, uh, look at this. 150, 158, and then 70 bucks for the Dark Requiem. So, a different, or a very large chunk here. Oh, before we get too much further this, make sure you guys subscribe, and happy Monday, baby! Alright, I forgot about my intros. Alright, yeah, just subscribe, please. It, it helps the channel. We're, we're growing. Alright, TCG player prices for this. Somebody bought a Christron for uh, 120 by the way. There was a listing up earlier in the day, and it disappeared. And I was like, y'all really spending 120 on this? It's week one. If that, day zero, and people are like, look, gotta buy it. Uh, Arm Dragon up for 86 right now. It's not horrible. Dark Rock William at 116. <laughs> then you jet up to 150. Nice. Punishment's down to 10s. Actually, I, I saw these at 15 earlier in the day, so they've been dropping. Uh, Roland's 7 bucks. World Legacy tokens are $7 right now. Yikes. Noctovision has one listing at 11 bucks. Looks like they've been selling. Uh, should all dragon at eight. That's a yikes. Borbo's at eight. And Melfi Mommy. Huh. Melfi Mommy's actually sold at seven dollars. Oh. People are impatient. They gotta start buying up their stuff ASAP, it would seem. Outside of that, very interesting. That's a lot of money for stuff. <laughs> Griffin Wing, 75 cents. You know you need three copies of that, right? Just kidding. Nobody wants to buy Griffin Wing at all. Now this was the uh, the ridiculous buyout of the day. I don't know when this escalated, but I, I got word of this in the afternoon. I was like, really? So Solemn Strike has went to the moon, and I already read like one complaint from a person getting his Solemn Strikes canceled at one fifty. All right, so right now a Solemn Strike Ultimate is going to run you about two seventy post shipping which is not a good thing man all right so yeah solemn strikes literally went to the moon for alties today i i did not expect this but it it does make some sense man look at this the closest card to it is literally instant fusion and then 36 dollar utopia by the way all right Hidden Cities. So evidently, uh, we've had some movement in Hidden Cities ever since Caesar um, did well with this. Um, doesn't really surprise me because we have a watermark price down here, eight bucks. Thirteen dollars is the lowest Hidden City right now for you to pick up. Secret Rare is going to run you about seventeen, eighteen dollars. Also, doesn't really surprise me all that much. This one's always been a little bit higher than the others, but hey, when Sub Terror does good, everybody goes, "Oh my God, I gotta buy this now!" Uh, everybody's a Sub Terror main now. Evidently, Blackwing the Gales have been going up as well across all versions. Um, I, I don't know how to feel about this either. See, like $8, $9, $25 for Astral Pack Supers. Like, uh, golds are 9 bucks. Even rares down here are 5 8 $5. I didn't ever actually think I would see a time where freaking Gale the Whirlwind was going up. But here we are. So I do take note of this. This is actually pretty crazy. Uh, Raikiri also has been gaining a little bit of value um, from what Anger Argonian was telling me. Uh, they said they were watching this for a little while. I was like, oh, okay. So you can buy an Italian here for $13. How do you look? Uh, I can't even read the name. All right. That yeah, looks nice. 
Uh, but outside of that, like, you start heading up to the $13, $14 mark here. So, yeah, right here he's gaining a little bit of value. Okay. Sure, Drytron Novas. Uh, these have actually been calming down quite a lot. Uh, you remember when these were 40s, right? Well, looks like the cool-off time has come through, and we've really pushed these down here to a lot more acceptable values. I also forgot... <coughs> that the Iceberry Structure deck was out today. Nine bucks shipped, that's not bad. Oh, well, most expensive card in the deck is cracked down at $1.50. <laughs> oh, that's friggin' hilarious. Ronan Toden being second. Trishula Zero Dragon with the Iceberry is $1.30. Dupe Frogs are 60 cents. Structure deck has, like, no value. Yikes. When Crackdown is the most expensive card in your Structure deck, Wow, even a pointers are like 40 cents. Low key, if you guys need some of pointers, um, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, this is the penny stonk right here. All right, like, that's really freaking good, honestly, for that number. So you might want to consider picking some of these up. It's really good, actually. All right, moving on along here. Ancient chants are going up a little bit. This is, I guess, understandable. 13, 14 bucks. All right. Miravos is just completely wiped out. We we talked about this card last week, and I was like, sure, it's an old uh, Turbo Pack Super Rare. Uh, just when your opponent's bottom is a monster, monsters from the main deck destroy the monster, and you get to draw a card. Um, it doesn't really progress game state all that much, but you snap your fingers to this current moment in time. They're wiped completely off of the market. So do pay attention if more Miravos come up. Um, it looks like that this is probably going to stick around as a potential buyout for a long time to come, which is kind of interesting. All right. Hmm. Yep, we talk about Rescue Kid every other day. Uh -huh, 58 bucks. Uh -huh, dual Sagas, 19s. Hmm. Well, uh, six bucks. Six bucks. Um, all oh, the freaking Rescue Cats, man. Well, um, cats are still up. I don't think we're ever going to... This card needs another reprint to push it down. It's ridiculous. All right, Blazing Vortex. I'm just curious to see how things are holding. 183, that's good. Push down. 144. Huh. Prosperities? How do you have a heavy play one already? All right, sure. Goddess of the Underworld's actually rebounded pretty hard right now. These are 34 to $35. Um, did not expect that, actually. Huh. 14, e -Telly here for 12-ish dollars. Okay. Uh, S-Force Rappuccino Maru, 9 bucks. What's out of that? Man, 420 on my Eldritch Man down here. Rock Mountains for $3. Okay. Sure, sure, sure. So, uh, no crazy value back here still. I think the most interesting thing is the Underworld Goddess pushing up. Thought Ruler Archfiend, this was also brought to my attention. Evidently, these have been disappearing for a little while. Uh, it's, it's, purples are gone. There's this. You've got four listings for Secret Rares. One for six bucks here. Um, not sure what's going on here, but interesting. Interesting stuff, man. Huh. All right. Oh, Parvenger, these also went up recently for the Supers. Seven bucks? Eight bucks, by the way? I, I, I wasn't aware of this. Twelve bucks? Hmm. Well, uh, Hope Harbingers. Like, I remember when these Super Rares were like nothing and nobody wanted them. Here we are. While we're feeling light for uh, dual terminal copies, are $60 right now. But once again, it's the whole DT hype train. People buy this card out all the freaking time. DR2s are $3. Huh. Well then, Norton's today are 68 cents plus shipping, no real shocker there. That grass looks greener. Man, this card's been banned for so long, and yet people still are like, Oh, it's coming back, Robbie, it's coming back, I tell you what. Uh, 15, 16 bucks, light plays down here for like 13, alright. First edition Ash Blossom and Joyous Springaroos. Oh boy, how much are these? Uh, 75 bucks? All right, understandable. That's a lot of money for first eds. Earth-shattering events are still floating about the $3 mark, all things considered. It's kind of interesting. Uh, Selene's, actually. These have finally surpassed the uh, the nine sixty-five mark and have actually pushed on over to the $10 mark. Hmm. 
Dequeches for Hobby League. This is hilarious, by the way. A near mint Dequeche for Hobby League is going to run you a $20 price tag right now. All right, just for a flip, draw one, baby. Uh, Nightmare Wheel from DR1. $3. Near mint is 8 bucks. It's kind of hilarious, I guess. D shifters are up to two forty five. By the way, uh, they're going to the moon. Penny stonk right here, and then we also have oh no, Digimon. Oh look, one hundred and forty six dollar Omnimons. Uh, BLs is at eighty twos. I still don't think Omnimons at seventy bucks is a bad thing, but their entire community seems to think this should be a two dollar card and everybody should have rights to it. Uh, ooh, we'll try our Lilmons went down. Huh? War Greymon sixty two bucks. Imperial Dramont, oh, well, I guess these just aren't out yet. I think they're for what, 1.5? Um, War Greymont Alternate Arts, 40 bucks. Huh. Mental Greymont Secret Rare Alternate Art, 41. I think that all, all in all, like, I understand the people's complaints about product. Like, 2000 for a case is dumb. I mean, 200 for a box is also dumb. But just buy singles at this point, man. Like,. The, honestly, this isn't horrible for Tier 1, all things considered. So guys, make sure you slam that like button. Tell me what you guys think about today's market down below. Make sure you guys pick up your Chaos Breaker mat. I, I love this mat, man. I think this is probably one of my cooler designs I've had the chance to do. And, well, of course, I'll see your beautiful faces back to you later on today for some more cool, awesome content. All right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Peace out. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vancall 40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by Mcall 40 And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out mcallgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.